Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a Minecraft server review. Uh, thank you to the people who suggested I check out Island Clash. I actually personally played the server a very, very long time ago. So it's kind of weird being back on it when there's no one else playing. But we'll go over some of the stuff I've... Um, I have listed down for this video um, in a few minutes, but first I wanted to just say thank you all for the support this week. It's been amazing. YouTube's had some problem with the view counts and stuff, so even if it doesn't show in analytics that videos are getting views or whatever, I can tell that you all are still enjoying them. So thank you to everyone giving us support this week. It's been amazing. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the Sanctuary Mode video yesterday, and for all of our 5M people, 5M videos are coming soon. Stay tuned. Anyway, we are inside of Island Clash. Now, if you don't know what Island Clash is, um, I'm surprised because Island Clash used to be a very popular game mode really, really, really far back. Um, it kind of reminds me of custom game modes that high pixel a little bit, um, but it seems like they have not done so well considering there's not like two other, there's only two people on their server. And from what I remember, there's hundreds of people on the server. So maybe I can try to find an old video of one of those and re-upload it. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're in here. So I'm just going to go through my normal review thing. And I'm going to just try to focus on things that can let you relive and re-bring up the server a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm not going to check out websites or anything. That's not part of the reviews. But keep that in mind. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So when I'm in Hub, you get the menu, which is your tutorials and the islands. Great job having a tutorial because a tutorial really helps new players. Profile, stats, skills, infractions, settings, player customization, messages. So I'm guessing this is like anything you've been punished for. Uh, no active punishment. Okay, so clearly I'm not been punished. Uh, skills doesn't work. So maybe it's because I haven't actually played on this account yet. Stats works even though I haven't played. So join date 2020, current play section, rank, don't have a rank. Messages, no messages titles and emblems, settings, player visibility, global chat, transport settings, uh, teleport, open menu, travel. Okay, interesting. So you got your settings menu pretty well set up here. Got parties. I would really recommend putting color to these usernames, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, content updates. Obviously, there's been no updates apparently, so I would recommend making the latest updates uh, in there. Help I'm stuck opens up a help menu, which sends it all in chat. Um, what I would really, really recommend doing with that is making it a GUI, um, and I think that would really help out. Anyway, let's explore your spawn a little bit. Uh, help shape island collapse. There is no polls active right now, so I would look into that as well. Uh, the advisor, building basics, and the, so your tutorials, your shops, your voting, vote for island collapse. Uh, so that's like voting, uh, stage and level one, so this is parkour, I'm guessing? Uh... Yes, I'm somehow doing well on parkour, so I will not do that. Um, I can type slash parkour to leave at any time. There we go, alright. Um, let's see what's over here. You got get your keys to get awesome rewards coming soon, so that's not set up either. Okay, interesting. Um, let's explore around a little bit. The spawn seems a little bit dull, just because there's not much to do. Like, you have these NPCs, which is great, but I would highly recommend... Um, so this is like your captain person to make a uh, island, as I remember. But what I would really recommend doing is maybe making it so you have like a little like a glowstone path or something, some like animation path down here, so players know where to go when they're getting started. Also, your little changing color thing on the scoreboard is so slow, and I really recommend just making that either very very fast or just getting rid of the changing thing. Same with your tab list; it just looks kind of dull compared to your scoreboard and stuff. Add some more color, even though I say in most videos don't add color and stuff. Keep it consistent. So if your scoreboard's gonna have multiple colors, make your tab list have multiple colors and stuff. All right, let's click on you and create. Uh, to create an island, it costs 500 gold, which I don't have. Um, can I join an island? I can. So there's only one island. Click join. Attempting to join island. Maybe this works? Uh, game? Okay, interesting. Can I just manually join? You've already requested to join. Only nobles can process your request. So it won't actually let me join an island! And there's no way to create one because I'm a new player. So that would be one of the flaws I would highly recommend looking into. Especially, um, I don't know the history of why the server set shut down, but I will research it a little before I end the video. But that's something I really recommend doing. Um, got daily rewards. I really recommend checking into that because you should have a free island creation 
for your first time players you should have unlimited amount of islands you can create as a first time player there should not be a money requirement for that i get it you want people to join other people's islands and stuff but that ruins the game mode really if you don't have like a full system to get new players straight into the game rather than especially if there's only three people on the server in one island you really need to look into that because clearly there's an issue there and that could really really drive players away because they have nothing to do they'll just be wandering hub like i am right now uh so i would look into that you also have a random gold block above your spawn point there um real quick i'm gonna do some research and i will be right back all right, so after doing a little bit of research on Twitter and stuff about what happened to the server, I figured out it seems like the server just shut down in late 2018 and didn't actually start redevelopment until 2019 when they rebranded as Island Clash Class or Island Clash Classic. I did say that right the first time. But um, it seems like you have great uh, ambition for the server and stuff, so hopefully you can keep working on it and bring it back. I remember playing the server personally a very long time ago, so I hope I can come back on here and there's a bunch of players playing, because it's actually a really cool game mode. I'm sorry I couldn't really show off any of the game mode things inside of this video, mainly because I couldn't get into an island. Um, so yeah, that's my main suggestion. Make sure you can join an island. Make sure new players who join can either auto-join a tutorial island or something, or you can go ahead and have players go ahead and create their islands for free when they first join the server. Maybe just for the first season until you build your player base back or something. That's what I really recommend doing. Um, but overall, very nice server. Keep working on it. I think you can um, really bring this server back as long as you keep working on it. Another thing I would do is make sure if you walk away from parkour, you just leave it rather than teleporting back. Um... Stuff like that just makes more quality of life changes. Put some treasure hunts around your spawn, get into it a little bit, and have great success with the server hopefully in the future. Keep working on it. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Um, I can't wait to see what you bring of this server in the future. And I would also just get rid of this extra space between the three, the slash and the slash and 68, because you could just get rid of that space and it would make the scoreboard a little bit smaller. So, great job on the server. Keep working on it, obviously. Hope you have success with it, and I'll see you in one.